Hey, welcome back. Something we get asked about a lot is how do you do clothes? One, for me as a woman, people want to know, how do you narrow down your wardrobe? That's hard for a lot of us women. And how do you fit all those clothes for the kids? So I've shown where we keep the kids clothes before we do have kind of a capsule wardrobe for the kids. They have, the girls have a couple pair of leggings and then mainly jeans and jean shorts because those match everything. And then they have shirts to last about a week, um, a week's worth of shirts. Uh, maybe a little more with long sleeve shirts in there right now. Boys have jeans, jean shorts, pair of jogging pants, and same thing about probably about seven to ten shirts each so um ryan is pretty simple he does not like a lot he probably would have even less clothes if i didn't buy him any um but he keeps his clothes in just in these two drawers right here that fits the majority of his clothes besides what he has hanging in he is happy with them. So for me, um, I do like clothes. I like shoes. I like jewelry. So it's not like, you know, it's necessarily simple, but I am also kind of a minimalist. And even in a house, I had a big closet, but it wasn't like crammed full. When I got new clothes, I would take something out or switch out. So I'll show you kind of my wardrobe here in the RV. So I have just this little section of the closet. Um, some of this is Ryan's here in the back. And then I've got like cardigans and sweatshirts, a couple sweaters, um, one or two long sleeve shirts, and then some nicer short sleeve shirts and then some t-shirts which really suits me for RVing. On the other side of the closet is Bravely's clothes so nothing of mine. I have this thing here to hang a couple scarves, masks, and whatever purse I'm carrying at the time. And then on the other side of our closet, I've got this. So I keep jeans in there, and I mainly do jeans too. Jeans, jean shorts um, in there. And then I've got pajamas, swimsuit and in there, and then undergarments there. These are my toiletries and straightener and blow dryer and such so that is all of my clothes in the rv and it feels sufficient to me but one way i do keep it fresh is that i said this i think in another video i'm a noonday ambassador and that is a fair trade jewelry accessory company and so every spring and fall, I get new samples of jewelry and accessories. So I will show you my jewelry here. I have this great jewelry hanger. I'll go ahead and tell you where it's from because I get asked a lot. It is from Pottery Barn Teen and they have different colors of it. It is pretty great because you can see you can hold all kinds of earrings, bracelet bar, and then two rows of necklaces. So that is really one way I keep from feeling like I don't have a lot of clothes is I get to wear different jewelry, different accessories with the same outfit or, you know, just mix and match stuff. And then seasonally, I sell some of my older noonday samples back to other ambassadors and then get new stuff so today we're going to ryan's grandma's i'm supposed to get my spring box of goodies and me and the older girls love going through it so we'll see what all we got that for the spring and then i'll take down some of my other stuff sell it and 
um, put up some of my new stuff and I feel kind of fresh even though I haven't gotten new clothes. So that's how I do that. And then uh, same thing for the kids really like grandparents get them new clothes some. I probably buy them you know at least a couple clothes per season or if they go up a size we do pass down. The kids don't mind that. They feel like they're getting something new. That's exciting for them. So Tapestry is the main girl to get new stuff, except for holes we find here and there where we're like, oh, this kid for some reason doesn't have as many clothes. We need to go grab something. Uh, number one place we shop for the kids is Target because they have really cute stuff and it doesn't cost much money. Shoes. Okay, so shoes is something that people wonder about too. I do like shoes, but even in a house... I narrowed myself to probably 12 pair of shoes, which seems like a lot, but if you're a woman, you're probably thinking, no, that's not a lot. <laughs> or I know a lot of women wear more than that. I'm sh you know, there you have your handful of women who are like, I only wear two or two, five shoes. Um, but I had about 12 pair of shoes, I think, when I was in a house. Now, seasonally, I wear two to three pair of shoes. Rotate, I keep ones I like in our storage unit, and... I think I own probably six or seven pairs of shoes between our RB and our storage unit and I rotate shoes in and out. And the shoes we keep um, underneath the sofa in the bunk room. And I'll show you that one day in a little pull out storage thing. That's where we keep the extra shoes. Shoes that we wear often we keep in shoe cubbies that we have outside the RV that we take off before we come in the RV. So there you have it. That's kind of how we do clothes and maybe I'll show you some of my new jewelry and accessories here later once we pick that up. All right, here is the great unboxing of new jewelry and accessories. We love this, don't we girls? Yeah. yeah. We all dream of all the things you want to ask for for holidays. Alright, you can scoot back because we'll have a lot to sit out. Do, 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 do. I see scrunchies. That's one thing y'all will be excited about. Oh my god. These are really for the girls because I don't really wear scrunchies. But, um, those are cute. You like those? Yes, I love the yellow. Look at those. I love that. Okay, yeah. let's see. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, that's the sunrise necklace. Oh, yeah. I love the sunrise. <laughs> that is made by Lynn. Okay. Let's see. Ecuador. These are Vietnam. Cute, cute. Wait, can I see your rings? Oh, I love these. My rings. Oh my gosh. Uh, these are like a set of three studs, so you'll can probably like those. Can I see? Wait, wait, wait. We'll open them in like a better a little bit. Oh, Ooh. I see oh. Wait, These are Vietnam. These oh. are cute. Cute, huh? Very cute. I like those ones are Yeah, they have. Okay, this is really cool, girls. Look at this. You can change it out. So these are like really affordable. They're made in Vietnam, and you can change these out. Look how cute these are. Like you use the same gold post. Mm -hmm. And then you change up your earrings to what you want to wear. Wait, I like the little ties here. That's so good. Can I see those ones? And I like the pink ones. I like the pink ones. Okay, these are cute. I love those. Can I see that? Oh, yes. This is recycled artillery, which I think is makes really pretty necklaces. 
um, from Ethiopia. Oh, Got the cool. These are really popular right now. Um, wearing them in front or back, the little clasp. Oh. Y'all would like them to try that on. That's cute. That's my favorite raw material is the recycled artillery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Most dudes like that. Okay, this is cute. Okay. All right, this is made in Haiti. This is really cute. Wrap bracelet. That's like my favorite thing ever. Oh, big fan of that. That is cute. Yeah, that's really cute. My birthday's almost here. My birthday's still a year. My birthday's still a year. Okay, this is pretty and colorful. Made in Uganda. I love me some Uganda. Okay, this is pretty. This. Oh, that's cute, T. So this is like... Okay, this is cute. So you can wear it like this. Or it's a lariat style, so you can do uh, that. That's cool. Which is really fun. Yeah. That's, yeah. Cool. that's cute. That's my favorite because it's super colorful. Yeah. 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 yeah, those are pretty. Oh, yeah. okay. I want these. Yeah. See, this will keep my wardrobe fresh. And I. See? To, ooh, that's cute. I can sell the other ambassadors almost to the price of what I bought it for. So it ends up really working out. Um, where I don't spend a lot of money. Oh, I didn't mean to get this. Okay, this is made in Kenya. I think this is really sweet. Ooh, that's cute, Liberty. That's sweet. That's cute. Yep. Okay, this. This one is definitely more adultish, baby girl. This one is made in Kenya again. Ooh, that one's cute. And I love this one. Oh, cute. Yes. It is cute, cute. Little baby upside down. Little baby upside down. Yeah. Look at that little. Oh, yeah. This is cute. <laughs> and then, oh, this is cute. This necklace is see where it's made. Nepal. And you girls might like this too. I thought it was really sweet. It is the fa moon phases. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The bracelet. It's got the moon phases there. Yeah. Cute. That, that is a yeah. 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 Alright, now here is my, my weirdest thing, okay? <laughs> Made in India, but I love them. Uh, I know what this is. <laughs> so, <laughs> I debated getting this sample or not because it's kind of weird, but I love them. So, let's see what y'all think. <laughs> Give me a yay or nay on these eyeball earrings, which yeah, it's mine, okay? Yeah. So we shall see here. I love it. Like, That's really cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. Do you like, Tapestry said I need to, or one of y'all said I need to face them backwards and say I have eyes, eyes yeah, in the back of your head. head. Yes. <laughs> So all this is fair trade, the artisans in other countries make this and a lot of them wouldn't have jobs if it weren't for Noonday. So it really helps them and their communities. If you're interested in any of the jewelry, I don't make anything off of making this video or anything, but obviously I sell this, but I will post the link below in case you're interested. But, um, and check in some of it out for yourself. They do a lot of cute stuff. Oh, yeah. And then almost nearing the end here. This looks really fun. I think this could go adult or girl on this one. Like you. All right, treasure. I'm gonna let you try on the necklace that you've been dying to. Oh, that's very so cute. cute. I love that. Yeah, Slides, that's you know, really cool. That's a 
adorable. Yes. So, Dad. Let me see, treasure. Look, can they wow, that's pretty. Now, what Mama's really been waiting for is love tail and turquoise. So, yeah. This is a really cute bag. I will be switching over to this. Here, I'll show you what I've been carrying. I love this. This is my backpack, Noonday, that I've been carrying for a while now. But I will be switching over at this point to this little till crossbody. I think it's adorable, perfect size for this season. Feel like that? Yeah, I love it. It's cute. Yeah. Um, so I'll show you in a minute. You're sneaking in there. Okay, that's pretty cute. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and it's got a little, I love that, the outer pocket for my phone. Yeah. Big fan of the outer pocket there. Yeah, that's cute. It looks good. Okay, now something you girls will like. Oh, I love that. Rainbow That's Clutch, really made in pretty. Peru. Peru okay. makes oh, some of the most amazing uh, fabric -y stuff. Yeah, very cool. Really pretty. That is so oh, nice. And one last thing. Oh, that's a Which I love. I think this will be a big seller just because. It is a great little size. Let's see. I love this leather. This is made from the same leather as the backpack. It's a great leather. Made in Ethiopia. And it is the perfect size for a phone. Maybe chapstick, oh, little I could, lotion. I could, I could put yeah. Millie. Uh, you can put your cards in here, cash, you know. Um, and it's a crossbody too, so let's try it out. I think it's, you like that? That's a good little size for y'all for a purse. Yeah, that is a good and a good adult, a good cute kid purse, and a good adult foam bag. I think that's so. one of my favorite things because. It's just so cute. It is. I know it's my favorite thing. So cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's adorable. Yeah, like that? Yeah. Very cute. Yeah, so, very cute. Yay. Is that fun? Yes. We love doing this every, <laughs> every yeah. spring and fall. We do this, so. I like Figured it. I would show it to you. This is part of our life. Okay, I've gotten all my new jewelry and accessories organized. I did take a lot of other stuff off. So that's kind of what I have to be in the habit of. In the RV, the kids do as well. If we get new things, old, older things or things that we don't use as much have to go. So we're just kind of in a process of doing that. And um, we really did that pretty well in a house. Obviously, we had a lot more stuff because we had 5,000 square feet versus 400 square feet, but we still were in a habit of doing that, or I was at least. So, I have been enjoying some of my new jewelry and feeling, you know, fresh, and I'll show you how I got everything hung up and switched out. Okay, so I took down some other stuff. Here's some of the stuff I loved still and some newer stuff hanging. And then I packaged up some stuff here and uh, have some stuff for sale. And I'm gonna give some stuff away. So that's how I'm handling that. And I'm gonna show you also where we keep the shoes. I should told you to show you that. So um, all the kids have three pair of shoes. Crocs, tennis shoes, and cute, like, ankle boots um, for if we go somewhere and want something cute. So, here is where we keep their shoes and our shoes. Okay, so here's the sofa in the bunk room. And if you look underneath, we have these great pull-out bins. So, there's some shoes. And... And over here we have more shoes. 
here is where we keep the rest of our shoes just outside here in this shoe cubby we do not have snakes or bugs get in them or haven't yet and we've been doing this for over a year so that's kind of where we keep what we're currently wearing and then a reminder all our kids clothes are in these fabric baskets you've got that there there and there and that literally holds all 10 of our kids clothes and then up here we've got these great pull down baskets that the older kids can reach on a stepping stool they pull down let me show you and that is where their puffer jackets are and then like a lighter weight fleece jacket so yeah, that is kind of how we do capsule wardrobes and have accessories to keep it fresh. You could definitely have a jewelry um, capsule collection as well if you're not that into jewelry and just are kind of more minimal on the jewelry. I know a lot of people do a good minimal capsule for that as well. So that is how we do it though and hope that you're doing well and we will see you next time.